Okay, so here's the final installment of the root through five scale pattern shapes around minor chord shapes of the three different groupings. So this one is going to be using the D minor shape, and we're only going to last on that D minor shape for set one, okay? So here we go. Here's an A, and here's a D minor shape, and I'm only going to last on set one for this shape. After that, we're going to start doing extensions. So here's a D minor, classic shape. Here's a kind of an extension. Here's another extension. That's a root position. And the last one is kind of the E minor shape on set four instead of set three. Remember, everything that's on set four is on set three and vice versa. So you're lessening the amount of things that you have to learn because we're not having to learn 12 unique shapes. We're down to nine, which is great. Okay, so here we go with set one. Second inversion because the fifth is in the bass and I'm going to start with my root on the second string root two flat three four five Octave of that five that's inside the chord shape One more time root two flat three four five and five Now I'm moving here my flat three was here, but now it's here. It's on the low side Okay and here I go, I'm gonna go root, two, two, octave, flat three, four, five, and back to chord. One more time, root, two, octave, two, flat three, four, five. Here's my root, I'm gonna to have to replace it when I go to set three. Here's my new root, on set three, straight up root position. So it's a straight up climb on the scale. So root, two, flat three, four, five. And back to the chord shape. So one more time, root, two, flat three, four, five. Root. And finally, set four, okay? So here's set four. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see the shape because of how my hand is shaping it on the neck. That's why you have the diagrams to see things. All right, so here it is. Start here, I'm, notice I'm shifting away from the shape and I'm gonna start with my second finger because that sets me up for a five fret move. Here's my root, here's my two, here's my flat three, my four, and my five, and an octave of the five back to the chord. One more time. Root, two, flat three, four, five, five, and back to the chord shape. Okay, so that completes what we're doing inside all of these exercises. And I, I know this is a side note, but I just want to bring this up. So with the major root through five scale exercises, chord scale exercises, and the minor chord scale exercises, I picked a total of six different keys, okay? So six major and six minor. And the reason I did that is I wanted to pick two keys that would choose to use the A minor shape to start out with if I'm talking about minors, okay? If I was talking about majors, it would be the D, C shape. Then after that, then the, for the minors, the E minor shape would come into play then the D minor shape. Then another two, I wanted to start with the E minor shape. So then I see the E minor shape being played, followed by the D minor shape, and then finally followed up by the A minor shape. So you can see this continual pattern. Lastly, when I did the last set of two minor shapes, I did the D minor shape to start with, which then brought me back to the A minor shape and then the E minor shape because it's a continual cycle. I mean, right, if I start with A minor here, then I start with E minor. And then next, I do an octave, right? I wanna see an octave, so I'm going. So that's my new root for my set one shape, which is D minor shape, and then extensions. Okay, 
The same is true with the majors. If I start with the DC shape, then my next shape is the A, then G, then F and E. I am not going to go through all that because I'm focusing on the minor shapes right now in this video. So I know it's a little bit of a tangent, but I did want to bring it up. And so the exercises and the repetition are really what helps bring this stuff into play and helps you see stuff. So, hey man, again, any comments, any questions, reach out, be happy to hear from anyone. All right, take care guys. Thanks for watching this video. Again, I'm Phil Olson. To purchase the Awesome Guitar Series, click on the link below. It'll take you to Amazon. You can see full descriptions of each one of the volumes. After you've made your purchase and you receive them, go home and practice.